بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم ہوپنگ دیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ لونگ لارج ان یور کوارنٹائن ٹوڈے ویل بی اسٹارٹنگ چیپٹر ففٹین آن پیج نمبر سیونٹی دا چیپٹر نیم از دا اسٹرگل فار فریڈم ان دس چیپٹر وی ول ڈسکس ڈفرینٹ کنٹریبیوشنز اینڈ ڈفرینٹ اسٹرگل آف انڈین پیپل اگینسٹ برٹش گورنمنٹ you have already learned it in your previous book in your previous class that british were ruling subcontinent over 100 years ago and people living in india wants to get rid of their dominance what i'm referring when i say indians it doesn't mean if they are only um hindus people were living in india were Muslim at that time, Sikh at that time, and on every sectors uh, of religion that were living in that India. Before starting the chapter, uh, there are a few difficult words that you need to remember, rise and know their meaning first. First is wise, right? It means that someone uh, who is representative of your um, government that he or she will rule for his government in another country this is why it's right number one second is legislature those who write laws legislative council the members of uh, or number of legislative sit in uh, a committee form and they their job is to do um, to plan and to plan a legislative program and to solve state problems and further there you have to rememberize the concept of nominate and elect nominate is the uh, nominate is when a person is formally chosen for a certain job and elect is when the person was chosen by voting system like election other one is the act act means the premature statute of written law it is not actually law but it is a written form points that if everyone in the council will agree on it then it will become law later on okay students let's begin with the chapter page number 70 the first paragraph is about war of independence and um, this war was fought between indian and british So when I say Indian, it doesn't mean that I'm referring only Hindus because you know that you have learned in previous classes that before independence, Muslims and Hindus were living all together in subcontinent of India. Okay, so they both uh, fought against British because they want to get rid of their, their dominance in the end. British won. Muslim lose their hope in resulting Muslims um, were refused to participate and refused to get education in English and um, number of Muslims were executed and dismissed from uh, British army in result only few educated Muslims were there who could help to take part in politics to run government in future. So students after war of independence though the britishers mourn but their british government learned some serious lessons that indians do not want their dominance and western culture because indians are much more rich in their tradition and culture and their culture are much more older than western culture so they think that their government is endangered in order to protect their government and their business the east india company they needed a voice right that live in india and he needed assistance of uh, legislative council of selected british member because in order to send one permission letter to london it took like five days by sea also they have taken various steps to educate people they built three universities in bombay madras and kolkata however the muslims did not welcome these steps they were against the british because of the dismissal of the mogul rule 
Okay, student, turn the page number 71. You can see the heading of the Indian Consul Act 1861 after the Government of India Act 1858. According to this act, this was the first step that allow Indians to participate any kind of political activities. It allows some Indians to be in a viceroy legislative council and in the provincial council. The Indians member were not elected but nominated means chosen by Britishers. So Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan was one of them and he was elected as a member of legislative council. Okay student on the same page 71 you can see the picture of Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. He belongs to a very Nobel family of uh, barrister and lawmaker. He was also nominated as I told you before he was nominated as a member of legislative council he promoted education in Muslims he promoted science and technology he started Anglo oriented school in Aligarh which later became a university he tried to establish friendly relations between the Muslims and the British the views were beginning of the two nation theory because he thought that a huge country like India could not be controlled by any single government. He planted the idea that Hindus and the Muslims should be given political power separately. Students you can see the headings of progress in subcontinent on page number 73. It is era between 1860 till 1890. Great construction activities were carried out, for example, construction of roads, railways and canals in order to fight shortage of food in different parts of the country. Social and political advances were made. More Indians were allowed government jobs. Even Indian judges were allowed to try Europeans, but there were a strong protest by the white people, so the idea was given up. Another advance were, were made by Indians that they made their own political party named as Indian National Congress in 1885. Initially some European Muslims joined it but majority of educated Hindus were there so the party was dominated by Hindus. Student on the same page 73 you can see the heading of Indian Council Act 1892. This was an important act and its important features are listed below. Number one, Indians were elected to the Viceroy's Legislative Council instead of being nominated. Separate electoral rules. This meant that Hindu voters would vote for Hindu candidates and Muslims for Muslims. Okay, students, on page number 73, you can see the picture of Lord Curzon. He was the Viceroy of India and official representative of British government. He promoted education and emphasize on social field. He also set up primary school and university. He appreciated and worked for the preservation of Indian culture and promote archaeology. In 1905, he decided to divide Bengal into two parts because Be Bengal was the largest province of subcontinent. So he divided into two parts. Eastern Bengal was mainly Muslims and poorer while Western Bengal was largely Hindu and prosperous. Then the Hindu opposed this. Violence broke out. Even murders attempt were made on British officers. Conflict between the Hindus and Muslim increased and that was the time. In 1906, Muslim League came into power. This was the political power for Muslims and the full dominance of Muslims in that Muslim League. Students, you can see the picture. Red donates Hindu majority and green donates Muslim majority. Lord Minto was the Viceroy and Morley the Secretary of State for India in London. Both came up 
with the reform called Morley Minter Reform in 1909. These reforms were the second step toward eventually independence. You can see these on page number 73 and 74. Number one, they say that all provinces must have their own regional government with elected as well as appointed members. Separate representative for minorities, for example, Muslim and Sikh, Indians to be appointed in the Viceroy Executive Council. These three reforms were welcomed by Indians, but later on they revised the uh, Bengal partition and which eventually um, benefited Hindus and Muslims acknowledge the advantage of higher education they learned that higher education is so much important that um, they can convey their own perspective their own ideology towards the British government okay student in the end of the chapter I hope that you will get each and every concept of this chapter now what you have to do is you have to make a booklet and write biography of Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan and his major contribution for freedom along with pictures also answer these following questions uh, what steps were taken by British government in era of 1860 till 90 pen down the important points of Morley Minto reform 1909 what was the main difference between Indian Council Act of 1861 and Indian Council Act of 1892. How education played an important role in struggle for freedom against British government. Good luck.